Hi everyone and welcome back to episode 27 of the Spring Boot Security course. Today we are going to start the JSON Web Token authentication part of this course. So we are going to take a quick look at JVT because JVT is starting to be really really adopted and it's a pretty common mechanism for you know uh, securing two or more uh, apps or endpoints. Now before we get started, I would like to remind you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel in order to stay tuned for more courses that will sharpen your programming skills. Now, uh, one last thing that I would like to mention is that you can find all the source code on GitHub and you can find it under this folder called JVT. So it's much the same thing, it's the same thing that we did for the forms authentication, for basic authentication everything that is going to be related to JVT is going to be in a separate project and that project is going to be under the, the JVT folder just to make it really really easy for you guys to play with the source code and to explore uh, the source code okay so that being said now we can uh, we can get started so the first thing that I want to discuss well remember that we discussed about uh, JVT uh, about the theory, the theory behind GVT in episode six of this course. Now, if you didn't watch it, or if you want to, you know, freshen up those um, those skills, then go check out that episode, and then you know we can continue from here. Now, uh, if you have a Spring MVC application, okay, do you need to use JVT? Well, that's a pretty good question. So, when should you use uh, JSON Web Token authentication? Well, if you have a Spring Boot MVC application and your application provides all the business logic and all the necessary user interface elements like you know views and you just want to deploy one application to your customer so in the end your application is just a jar or war file you deploy it on Tomcat or you know self-contained and that's it and uh, that's all your customer needs then by all means you do not need to use uh, JVT. You can use, you know, form-based authentication will work perfectly for this kind of scenario where you just have one app and you deploy a single application. So if you just have a Spring Boot MVC app, you know, you, you could use JVT, but then again, it's not really, you know, you can achieve the same result with uh, forms-based authentication. Now, you should use JVT when you want to centralize the authentication and authorization part of your application so you have a, your application you will have an authentication server or you know an, an authentication feature that will handle authentication and authorization you will like, probably expose some you know rest api methods into your business logic and then you want to create a mobile app uh, you also want to deliver one or more web applications you might also want to expose your or parts of your business logic or parts of your application to third party customers so in this type of scenarios where your application you know uh, you, you, your the core the business core of your application is shared across multiple user interface apps and multiple clients either internal or external that's when you should be using jvt now think about this example we have you know coolapp.com and you want to create you know dedicated android and ios app so you have two mobile apps already then you also want to create a web app for this so you have free apps and then you also want to expose some public apis to other customers that want to integrate with you so in this case you know if you want to handle authentication and authorization uh you have two options either each and every one of those apps you know the, the two mobile apps the web app and your customers uh, would have to implement their own security mechanisms or you can centralize uh, the authentication and, and authorization part and then make all the other clients internal or external use that centralized security you know and JVT is the simplest way to achieve that outcome so that's how you should balance things okay do I have a simple self-contained app okay you don't need it do I want to have an app and then multiple clients will connect to it or multiple different applications will connect to it and I don't want to make uh, the authentication logic in each of those applications then you know, JVT is the solution for you 
Now, before we actually take a look at the sample app and begin to write some code, I also want to remind you, you know, um, the flow in uh, every application that uses JVT as an authentication provider. So, uh, on the left, you have, you know, a client application. It can be an Angular app, a mobile app, a desktop app, doesn't really matter. And on the right, you have, you know, your application. You have an authentication server and then the, the business logic, you know, which exposes some REST endpoints. Now, the authentication server and REST, you know, they can be a single application or they can be distinct apps. It, it, it's your choice. You need to enable a uh, course. So, your API endpoints need to have cross-origin resource sharing enabled. Otherwise, this scenario, the scenario that we talked about in the previous slide, will not work. Okay, and this is the, the flow. So the user wants to sign in. So he submits his credentials, you know, it can be username, password, OAuth, whatever, to your authentication server or to your application. The uh, authentication server, is, if the authentication is successful, will send back a JVT token, you know, a big, you know, string. Then, when you want to access parts of the business logic via REST endpoints, you know, you execute that HTTP request and in the authorization header of the HTTP request, you will add, you know, bearer and then the token that you just received from the authentication server. And then you will receive, you know, a 200 OK plus the content of the response. And this process, you know, repeats itself either until the token expires, in which case you need to sign in again and obtain a different token, or until you sign out, you know. So this is how um, the JVT flow uh, in, in a typical scenario looks like. And this is exactly what we are going to focus on and you will see how we can implement uh, JVT authentication in our, in, in, a spring, in, in a Spring Boot application. Cool. So now that we know when to use JVT and when not to use JVT, and also after we had a quick reminder, you know, we can conclude this episode and then we can take a look at the sample application in the next one. Before we close, I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills. Just go to the Romanian Coder YouTube page and click on the subscribe button. Also, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, thoughts or ideas for new courses, just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because I would love to get feedback from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter at RomanianCoder and you can also check out my blog www.romaniancoder.com. Until next time, have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye.